During this Holy Week, let us reflect on some Bible verses to help us accept and understand how much it is that our present sufferings speaks of our relationship with Christ our Savior. Romans chapter 8 verse 18 says, I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. This is a verse from the Bible that compares the present sufferings of the believer with the glory that will be revealed in them. Philippians chapter 1 verse 29 says, For it has been granted to you on behalf of Christ, not only to believe in Him, but also to suffer for Him. Well, it is often said that in order to share in Christ's glory, we should also share in His sufferings. For just as we share abundantly in the sufferings of Christ, so also our comfort abounds through Christ. Mark chapter 8 verse 34 says, And he summoned the crowd with his disciples, and said to them, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself, and take up his cross, and follow me. We are Christ followers, are we not? Well, accepting him as our Lord and Savior, believing that he has come into the world to suffer, die, and resurrect for us, and thus renewing our relationship with our Heavenly Father, who has promised us the gift of eternal life, let these verses which I have just read in the Bible be a reminder of what to expect after our journey or our pilgrimage, our life here on earth. Okay? Have a blessed, meaningful, and Christ-filled Holy Week. May God bless all of us, our loved ones and friends as well. Take care.